worked. Um, look, let me move on now to something that I know is a very, very topical subject and something that, quite frankly, has been bugging me and probably more so than it should do. I want to have a chat about VAR, ladies and gentlemen, because it is the hot topic. And I'm going to start off this chat by talking about Martin Atkinson. Martin Atkinson, for those of you that may not be aware, was the referee that was in charge of the VAR at Stockley Park yesterday. The one that ruled Firmino's goal offside. Now, there's so much to get through on this one. Please bear in mind that a lot of what I say is just my opinion and my opinion only. But some of the things that I'm about to read out are quotes from other people who have strong opinions on the incident yesterday. And of course, we'll go on to have a further chat around VAR as well moving forward. So, I said it during the United game. And I'm going to reiterate it now. In my opinion, Martin Atkinson is a cheat and is intentionally making incorrect calls. I know that is a massive claim to make, but I want to reiterate that this is just my opinion. I think Martin Atkinson is a cheat and is intentionally making these ridiculous calls. Um, Chris Kamara, of Sky Sports fame, I suppose, has come out and spoken about the, the incident as well and the offside decision. I'm going to read you out some of what Chris Kamara has had to say. Again, somebody who has no vested interest in seeing Liverpool succeed. And again, for any opposition fans watching, I want to just let you guys know that I'm only talking about this incident because it's one that I happen to have seen. It doesn't matter that it's Liverpool-centric. It will be another team another week. Um, and I'm going to just continue on. So what? Kamara was saying was I'm not happy with it I'll be 100% honest with you in my opinion this is made up this has been made up by somebody at Stockley Park who's decided they don't want this to be a goal and that is my opinion and that is my honest opinion from the naked eye you don't need the collaboration of dots or whatever to tell you look at Tyrone Ming's knee Firmino is onside right so if you look at the yellow and then there's a black line there as well, that's what they've done there. So it tells you that he was on side. Then they change it around to make Firmino a black line and Tyron Mings is the yellow line, as you can see now. And he goes on to basically show that they kept moving the line until they made Firmino offside. That's not where this ends, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to carry on. You guys have heard me speak on here many times about my dislike for a certain couple of gentlemen that work for BN Sports. Now, obviously, I've got nothing against BN Sports as a television station. But Andy Gray, ex-Evertonian, somebody who doesn't really have many positive things to say about Liverpool Football Club. Well, they did a very good piece of analysis. And again, it's not very often you're going to hear me say that. But he did a very good piece of analysis to clearly show what a ridiculous call it was to put Firmino offside. He slowed it down pace by pace, bit by bit. One, it showed that Bobby Firmino's knee probably looked the most likely place to draw a line from, which was onside. Um, and look, I can talk you through the clip. It is there on social media if you want to Google it for yourself. And the final person whose point of view I wanted to bring up on this is somebody whose opinion I hold in the highest esteem. And that is, of course, that of Paul Tompkins of the Tompkins Times. And Paul Tompkins put up a very simple tweet yesterday that showed that the line drawn and the line used by Martin Atkinson and the VAR officials wasn't even straight. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that that is a basic, basic thing. So what what Paul Tompkins did was he drew a perfect or cut it at a perfect ninety degree angle, and it showed, as many other people have done as well, that the line used wasn't even straight. Connor has gone as far as to show me uh, an image that shows it was about two point five degrees off. Um, and basically, again, what I'm getting at here is that this was done to make Bobby Firmino look offside. Why might they do this? I hear you ask. There's varying reasons, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of them, again, just my opinion. I will, of course, come into the chat. I will, of course, come to your opinions as well. But I'm not quite finished my little chat around VAR yet. So why would the officials perhaps want them to be offside? Well, what's coming up next week? Liverpool have a massive game against Manchester City coming up next week, correct? As things stand, Liverpool are six points clear at the top of the Premier League table. Well, if Liverpool didn't go ahead and win that game yesterday, perhaps even lost that game, and Manchester City, who had a very good comeback of their own yesterday, went on to win. That sets up a game next weekend, whereas if Manchester City beat Liverpool at Anfield, it would have put them on top of the Premier League on goal difference and would have been a massive swing in the title race. It also would have allowed the Premier League to build that game up and build that game up and build it up and up and up again this a lot of this is just my opinion on that incident yesterday with regards to Roberto Firmino you may have remembered during the stream the watch along that we did of the game yesterday I said that 
when they first used the lines to draw it down, Firmino was onside. And they kept moving it down his arm until they found the point that Bobby Firmino looked offside. And then all of a sudden, that was it. That was the absolute line. There was no rethinking of it. There was nothing else. That was what they were using and Firmino was offside. Look, it was Liverpool this week. I know I sound like a salty Liverpool fan, but I've no reason to be a salty Liverpool fan. We won the game yesterday. I'm still here talking about the VAR incidents. I'm still here talking about Martin Atkinson. The same Martin Atkinson who I was talking about when we played Manchester United at Old Trafford and we drew 1-1. A game where Divock Origi was fouled, which allowed Manchester United to counter-attack and score wasn't brought back, wasn't overruled. We'd seen Fabinho pick up a yellow card, a correct yellow card during that game for stopping a counter-attack. Two or three times during that game, Manchester United players did identical things and he didn't book them for identical things. Now, I'm not saying this because I think he's in favour of Manchester United because you know what? I know some Manchester United fans who aren't particularly fond of Martin Atkinson either. So look, ladies and gentlemen, that is my take on this. Um... The Premier League, let me just, there's, there's so much more. Sorry, I'm just going to pull up my notes because I don't want to miss parts on this one. So, the PGMOL, who are the Professional Game Match Officials Limited, are the people who look after the officiating of the English professional sport. And the refusal of them to use the pit side monitors seems to go against the rules surrounding VAR laid down by the IFAB, the International Football Association Board, who are the body that determines the rules of the game. Why on earth are these TV monitors at the side of the pitch if the referees aren't going to use them in any way, shape or form? Now, we're not saying that they're being used sparingly, which I think is the line that's been used from the uh, Professional Game Match Officials Limited, or what is it again, the PGMOL, uh, to uh, say that, oh, they'll be used sparingly. It seems like they didn't want those monitors to be there at all. It seems like they wanted there to be an absolute decision made in Stockley Park and that nothing else could be done. Why have them there? As I said to you yesterday, they might as well give them away to kids and let them play their PlayStations on them. It's absolutely ridiculous. What's happening around VAR has affected Liverpool. It's affected us in a positive way and it's affected us in a negative way. It will affect other clubs the exact same. But I think it's the hypocrisy of the use of the system that is annoying so many people. You watch other leagues and you see VAR used and I'm not going to sit here and say it's flawless. It isn't. But it's used a lot better and it might be our club this week but you know what it could be your club next week ladies and gentlemen this needs to be dealt with and this needs to be dealt with